Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be talking about Pear Drop. Um, now, you probably are like, Pear Drop? What is that? Now, if you take out the P, it's like AirDrop, but P, Pear Drop. It's actually an open source kind of very similar thing to AirDrop, um, but actually is can be used with any any type of machine, so you, you're not limited to only having ammo machines. Now, obviously, it's not exactly the same, but and it's it has pretty close to a lot of the same features, but um, it's actually very useful for if you want to actually, you know, kind of pair drop um, your stuff from your mobile device to your computer and you don't want to plug it in or um, do, you know, anything and you just want to kind of just select and play and do it. So this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you join my content, want to sponsor me and send me some free swag or hardware, my email is in the description below. So, okay, let's get started and setting it up. Okay, so I will log into my server here. Um, uh, when I, uh, I actually switched the network, so everything's actually on this network now. Um, so let's log in here. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do with, with it is install Docker because that's um, it's actually just another Docker thing uh, that we can use. So let's get Docker installed here. Boop. Okay, so while that's installed, let's set up DNS here real quick. Edit, where I the E? And pair drop. No, oh, no, just A. And 35, and then we'll do nine. Make sure you update that zero number. Zero number needs some love, you know? All right, um, pair drop. So, pair drop GitHub. <sighs> Local file sharing in your browser, inspired by Apple's AirDrop. <clears throat> um, so, what we can do here is, I believe there is a Docker. So, where is it? It's all in here. It, they have the Docker file, yeah. Do you host your own instance with Docker? So let's click that. So there's a few ways to do it. We're going to use the Docker Compose way. Um, so keep on scrolling down, keep on scrolling down. Deployment with Docker Compose. I like this because it's just easier to read, makes it a little easier to explain. You got your your PID, group ID, your fallback set to false. You're not rate limiting. So like if, if this was like you you were doing this publicly, you probably want rate limiting, but if it's within my own home lab, I'm not too worried. In this case, this will listen to itself, um, but we'll just actually open it up to my whole, whole home network so we don't have to, so we can have multiple devices actually connect um, to it at the same time because it, and then, then it'll actually show up as an airdrop thingy. Um, so we will grab that. Any other weird caveats? I don't, I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it based off of that. Okay, so let's start Docker. And then we need to get Docker Compose also. So install that, do that, and buy Docker Compose .yaml. Then we will copy this in here and change a few things. So we will set it so that anything can, that can hit this will can hit it on my network and uh, America, Chicago is my time zone. TZ for time zone. That's, that's usually what most people abbreviate it to. Now we can just do a doc compose up hyphen D. It will pull the pair drop container down. So you can see it pulling and extracting. That's apparently seven layers. Not too bad. Then we will do a Docker PSA. So we can actually see it running. So it's running on 3000. Anything that hits 3000 on this machine will go to 3000 on the container. So if we were to actually go HTTP pair drop that dragon that local three thousand three thousand come on I got this I got this it's a little early in the morning guys <laughs> pair drop that dragon that local three thousand now you can see you got got this web GUI that is <clears throat> um kind of. I, I think this looks like kind of like AirDrop a little bit. Um, but what we'll do here is, so we'll actually open AirDrop on my, my phone here also. Um, 
and you can see now that there is an Android device. I actually can see my Android device, and, I, and on my phone, I can actually see the the computer here. So I'll click on computer, um, and what we'll do is actually upload a file from my phone up to this computer. Let me let me go find a good 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 one. Um, oh oh, some some files for my Europe trip maybe. My Europe trip. What's a what's a what's a good one? Ooh, food. Food is always good. Here we go. Let's 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 do this one. This one has a lot of good food. But you can upload multiple. So I essentially selected, picked it, and now it sent over to this. So now I can click accept over here. Um, so I see the image, and you can see it just downloads like a normal image. Um, and I don't have anything installed, but I got paint installed, guys. Um, and now you can see all the amazing food that I ate in Europe. Yeah, we ate, we ate dim sum. I mean, I'm I'm Asian. What can I say, right? You gotta you gotta eat dim sum no matter where you go. But it was really good. Always always go for the shrimp dumplings. Always go for the sumai. It's always on point. So. And then you can also do it the other way. You can select here, select a picture, and it will airdrop to my phone um, on the browser. So all you ne really need is just a browser, um, hits, hits the server, both both devices hit the server on the browser, and you can just airdrop between devices. Um, there's also a dock theme mode, so it looks a little bit better too. So that is essentially how you set up Pairdrop. Now you can go set it up on your own home lab, and now easily send images between devices without having to like plug in and you know copy and paste or deal with things and you can just do it all wirelessly so if you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video thanks